Hey everyone, today we're going to be training with the Wakizashi. So the way things go then, I get a really good idea for a video and I pursue it, I go down that path and because I don't have time, I do one video, maybe two videos a week and by the time I know it, it's been months since I've done any Wakizashi training and I really do need to train with my Wakizashi. So today we're going to get back into it, we're going to see how I can still train with it and if I've still got it. And that's it. Hope you like it. So I got a little too confident and I've cut through the wooden dowel here which is pretty good because it means that my edge alignment was good, my power was good but unfortunately I've damaged my stand. Not too badly but it's something that I shouldn't be doing and that's a targeting error. So what can I say about my Wakizashi technique? Well, it's quite significantly deteriorated. Uh, as you can see, it used to be my strong point and my katana training used to be quite weak. And I spent a lot of time in my katana training that now my Wakizashi cutting has deteriorated quite badly. And my form is nowhere near where, where it used to be. So I think it's a good reminder to everyone to practice all of your techniques because if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So I'll be training with my Wakizashi more probably off camera because I'm a bit ashamed of how bad it's gotten and um, with that I'll see you next time.